I covered in my last video. I kind of touched on it just a little bit. I'm a professional carnival barker. And what that is, is I try to convince people to do something ridiculous and then pay me for it. Uh, one of the big things that I do is I, you know, I, I bark at people. Like, and that's why I call it a carnival barker. I mean, it's like, step right up, ladies and gentlemen. Come on in here. Try this out for free today. Give me two minutes and I'll change your life. Now, it's a lot of things like that. And these things are really funny. And they, they make me laugh because that's, it's fun to, you know, you know, fuck with people. I mean, seriously. People come to Vegas. They're normally here to gamble and all this other crap. And, I mean, to be honest with you, why can't that money that's going to the casino end up in my pocket? So, anyways, um, I deal with a lot of people. Like, so many different types of people from all over the country, all over the world. You know, and, you know, some of the things that, that they do, it just, it's pretty, pretty hilarious. You know, uh, most of the times I'm dealing with families and, you know, groups of people from like Canada or whatever. And, you know, they're good people because they know, they, they, they get it. They're, you know, I'm doing a, doing a little ride thing. I'm taking some photos and I'm going to try to sell it to you. You know, it's as simple as that. Whereas um, some people, though, they take this idea of a free ride to the next level, to something that is literally that. It's just a free ride and a waste of my time. So one of the people types of people that I deal with, they're uh, like, they're Indian or they're Egyptian or Persian or Israeli or whatever. It seems like everybody in the Middle East, for whatever reason, they come here to Vegas and they think everything, not just like food and shit like that. No, everything deserves to be discounted from its original price. And I mean, like, it doesn't matter how cheap I make it out the gate for them. It, they still want a discount. And then on top of that, they don't want to pay tax. Um, you know, so it's, it's kind of ridiculous. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll come at me with like, come on, my friend, you can do this for free. I want uh, two DVD, three photo, $40. You know, in reality, that particular amount of product is somewhere in the neighborhood of $90. And I mean, it's less than half price. And it's like, they think this is a fucking flea market and it's not. Um, on the weekends though, you know, I'm also, I'm, I'm occasionally afforded opportunities to deal with large groups of heavy set loudly dressed black women and these chicks they crack me the fuck up they'll get on they'll be super stoked to do it you know four or five deep you know oh girl oh we gotta we have some fun today da, 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 da. that shit's hilarious they'll get done they'll watch the ride they'll do the whole thing be super stoked about buying everything then it comes down to price and then out of a group of eight they're gonna split the cost on a 20 dollar item oh girl we can't afford this but you know what we should all just get a keychain a keychain, 20 bucks a piece, you gotta be kidding me. But whatever, I don't, you know, I don't, it's so funny to me. But I think my favorite out of all these people that I see every day, it's gotta be the groups of reasonably attractive white women in bikinis going to the pool. No. Nothing physical really because I mean, I live in Vegas, everybody's a dime piece or whatever, you know. These chicks on the other hand, it only, it never fails, it takes one simple comment or a charming remark or whatever and next thing you know they're going through fits of giggling that they have no control over anyways i get them on and i make them do the most ridiculously slutty things i mean shit i get them to run in place jump up and down do jumping jacks sometimes even ride topless it's pretty funny and by the time they get to the counter they're just so wrapped up in everything that's just gone on that you know i'm I'm going to get all their money. You know, it's funny. You know, and it kind of sounds like this. Like, oh my God, Becky, you look so good in that bikini. I cannot believe you did that. Oh my God, I can't wait to put this on Facebook. All the while I'm thinking to myself, wow, I just made you look like such a whore. And now you're paying me for it. Oh, girl, we can't afford this, but you know what? We should all just get a keychain.